What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva. Happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. And welcome to a drive along chat. And um, the reason I want to do this video is to, I just want to share an experience that I've had because I want to put it down on video and I want to, to share it so I, I don't forget the experience but also something that hopefully I can share with you and you know bring about, bring about some knowledge. So uh, I've just been to see my therapist who I see every week and we were having a really nice chat on my way here. I, um, I experienced this, I was shown, uh, I was guided, I was shown that um, each individual human being, each individual being, everything that we are, um, every single one of us are connected. That's something that I've known, I think I've shared this before, we're all connected somehow. You know, we're all one. That's, that's the, I've had this experience before, and I've reached the, the source. Um, so we all come here to have individual experiences. You know, we're this one energy connected to absolutely every living thing, every tree, every flower, every rose, every grass. Every single one of us are connected because we are energy. We talk about it with the law of attraction. We talk about it when we're thinking about someone and they end up calling. We, you know, we, we realize it when, you know, we are, you know, you're connected to a boyfriend, a girlfriend, husband or wife where you're thinking, oh, happened to me today. I fancied going to this particular restaurant and then Lucy laughed and when you just read my mind, I was thinking exactly the same thing. And so we all have this energetic connection. And with some people, we're stronger than others. But nonetheless, we all have it. We all have it because we have this thing also called unconditional love, where we, we experience love, kindness, compassion, tolerance towards each other. And love in particular is one of the things that bonds us together, that bonds us the most. And the reason it does that is because it's unbreakable. It's a, it's, it's a force that, it's unconditional, it's pure, it's absolutely pure. And when something is so pure like unconditional love, it's just this incredible force. And when we all reach this point of unconditional love, we then raise our vibration to the next stages of our lives, which is, you know, enlightenment. And, you know, where we, yeah, we're, shown by this world being me, this world being you, is we're all here to see the world from our experiences, to just have this personal experience, to just have this 
to live this life that we've been given, this temporary life that, you know, that we get to come here and experience and and hopefully enjoy. I know that a lot of us have tough times and, you know, and we go through, you know, really tough experiences, but you know what, the more and more I'm experiencing, I'm letting go of my pain, my suffering, my trauma, this, you know, the more and more I'm letting go of the old me, the, the me that doesn't serve me anymore, the me that has no purpose anymore, the me that brings me no joy, the me that has stopped me from becoming who I truly am. As I'm going into this process of letting go of that person, of that behavior, I learn every single day of the power that I am, of the person that I am every single day, the capabilities that I have, the possibilities that are in front of me, the things that I can achieve and become and do. And I want to share this because this is my job. My job is to share this with you. My job is to show you how you are going to become who you truly are. Who you truly are. And people talk about timelines and too old. You're not, you're an infinite being. You can you're you know, there is no timeline. We're led to believe that we live in this thing called time, but time doesn't exist. We're infinite, so why is there such thing as time? Why do we still keep believing this thing called time? When actually, when we take time away, we are so much more free. This is another thing that keeps us shackled, you know, away from our freedom, away from who we truly are. Why would it be, previously, when we look at ancient Egypt, we talk about the gods and we talk about you know these individuals that lived for hundreds of years and their stories that tell they call them you know they call them tales they were tales they were carved in in pyramids and walls that are still there why are these things still there showing us that you know beings were able to live now we celebrate that people live a hundred years yay there were people who apparently were living to 200 300 years why because there was no time people had, didn't have concepts of time that wasn't something that existed because people lived through their experiences people connected with the mind the body the spirit people connected with who they truly are the ones who understand this the most are the ones that are keeping you at bay are the ones that are keeping you away from the truth of the reality of who you can truly be and i know that because i've just i've been shown this a number of times i've been shown exactly what we are going to achieve i've been shown exactly who we're going to become I've been shown exactly who you are going to become. I've been shown exactly what you are going to achieve. Because if I'm going to achieve it, you are going to achieve it. Because you are me and I am you. So you are going to do this as well as I am. Why? Because you deserve this. You deserve this process. You deserve this joy. You deserve this gift as much as I do. This is not something that's that's personally selected for the 1%. We hear these words of 1%, the elite, and we call these people, you know, what they're doing is naughty. They know it's naughty as well because they have seen exactly what I've seen. I don't know whether they've seen, you know, as much, but they know enough. They know enough about connecting with their higher conscious. They know enough of the powers that are available to us when we do. They know what our possibilities and capabilities are, what we can do, what we can achieve. And here's the thing, you can use that power for good or you can use that power for evil. Now, think about it from this perspective. Why would a bunch of people who have the power and the knowledge to make every single human being as great as they are, why would you keep that to yourself? Why would you keep that to yourself? I'm asking you this question. If you had the power and you had the knowledge that you could be the greatest version of yourself, that you can connect to the source, that you can connect to everything that tells you, that gives you everything that you desire and everything that you need in order for you to become the gift that you are. You were sent here to become that gift. You 
were sent here to have that experience. But life throws challenges at us. And these challenges have been that the world that we're currently living in, people have discovered this. People know this stuff. People understand what, what powers we have as human beings. They have an idea. They don't know it all, but they have an idea. And I don't know it all. I'm learning very quickly. But it's very interesting because things like DMT, psilocybin, mushrooms, you know, these things were banned in the 60s and 70s. You know, there was a war against drugs. I remember Nixon said, we have war on drugs and one of the other presidents said exactly the same and then every other country didn't follow suit. It's hilarious that, you know, the hippies, as we used to call them, you know, the people that were living freely, that lived life to the fullest. They just enjoyed life. They loved unconditionally each other. They didn't want war. They wanted peace. But funnily enough, the media and the people in power criticized them, mocked them, shamed them for wanting to have peace in life and for wanting to have tranquility and unconditional love and kindness and compassion towards ourselves and others. Isn't it funny that we think about it from this perspective? Because every single person I speak to, every single person I've spoken to, doesn't want to live in a place where there is war, where there is hunger, starvation, misery. They don't want to live in a world like that. Everybody wants unconditional love, peace, serenity. Everybody wants to look after each other. So if that's the case, why are we believing in people who tell us to mock people who are sharing that exact positive message with us? I want you to ask yourself that question. Why are you being led to mock, shame and divide an entire nation, an entire world? Why are we told that different religions are good and different religions are bad? Why is it that a color of somebody's skin means one thing and somebody else's skin means another? Why does that even matter? Why were we led to believe that one person is better than another? I want you to ask yourself this question, why? Because I can't see, there is no reason for me, there is zero reasons when I think about it from a place of unconditional love. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that there is no justifiable reason why we're still behaving in that way. Actually, well, there is one reason, is because of you know the people who, who are in power and the people who, who, who do run and control the media. People go, oh, you know, you're being a conspiracy theorist. Come on, guys, wake up, wake up stop this whole conspiracy theory thing stop stop believing what everybody else tells you in the sense of this is such a hard thing isn't it because it's almost trying to undo what's already done and it's trying to convince i'm not trying to convince anything i'm just sharing a message i don't need to convince anything you need to convince you that what you've been led to believe your whole life is a lie everything that you've been told by the media by your parents by their parents by their parents it's all a lie whilst we all sit here living a normal life and you have these people who live in riches riches beyond existence seven over seven billion human beings on this planet and the top five 
richest people on this planet could make every single one of us, every single human being on this planet, millionaires, millionaires. And they will still have billions left. The number one guy can make every single human being on this planet a multi-millionaire and still be the richest man on the planet. Some people will go, yeah, but why does he have to? You're absolutely right. He doesn't have to do anything. But why shouldn't he? Why shouldn't he? I would. I would. God, I, if I'm sitting on, you know, 150, 200 billion, I'll be happy to give 50 billion away to every single human being on this planet. Divide it equally. <laughs> Divide it equally. That's what, three million each? You see what I mean? This is the world that we're living in at the moment where we're being divided into elites and then, and then they have the cheek to then call the rich, the middle class and the lower class. Yet we're all equal. We're all living in this one world that belongs to you, to me, to us. No one, no one owns this world. We do. No one can tell us what we can and cannot do. There's no laws to say that, you know, oh, this is how you should live. This is how you should be. Yeah, people put it down on paper and, and what? A number of people signed it and said, yes, we agree. What? And the rest of, you know, the, you know, a hundred people agree to put these laws in place and the seven point, you know, the 99.9% .9 of us never agree to any of this. Did you? Did you agree to any of these laws that we have to live by? I didn't. Ask yourself these questions, people. Wake up. This isn't conspiracy. This is facts. Stop living in this life where you think you, you're, you're, you have to answer to other people. If you do something bad, you will. You're going to answer for what you do. But when I'm talking about from a place of love, kindness, compassion, tolerance, where you're learning to be the best version you could ever be. There is no law for that. Nobody can tell you that. Now, the reason why these things have become illegal, now the reason why these things have been taken away from us is because if you understand, if you understand what you are capable of when you reach just the level of consciousness that I have reached so far, you will be doing the same video as I'm doing. You will be doing this too. And the reason why I'm doing this video, because I want you to turn around and say, show me. Show me what you're doing. Show me how you got there, because I want to get there. And if you've watched this far, you would have heard me say it. And if you've heard me say it, Let's see if you're willing and if you have the courage to turn around and say, show me, show me what I need to do to get to this level of consciousness. Because once you do, the one becomes two, the two becomes three, four, five, six, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent, 100 when we reach 100% of us as equals, when we are all at that highest level of consciousness, <laughs> oh man, I've seen it. And it is the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced in my life. It really is. It was the most, yeah, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I want you to see this because I know, I know you can. And every single one of us can. And we will. But I need you to take that step because I can't make you do this. But you have to stand together. We have to stand together. We have to stand and unite and grow 
not fight, not argue, not war, not bomb. Grow, build, learn, grow, develop. That's why we are here as human beings. We're here to learn, grow, develop. We're not here to be apart. Human beings are meant to be together. Why do you think they are separating you? When you're separated from your family and your loved ones, how does that make you feel? If you've lost someone because of what's currently going on in the world and you haven't been able to see them, if your partner birthed someone and you weren't able to be there, how does that make you feel? That's your human given rights to be there. There is no law on this planet. I didn't sign it. I never agreed to any of it. I never agreed to it. Sorry, I didn't. I never signed anything to say that I agreed to these things to happen. And it's not about being a rebel. It's just about understanding who you are and what your gift is and what your powers are. And we all tell each other what we can and can't be and who we should and shouldn't be with and how we should and shouldn't behave and the expectations that we should or shouldn't meet. Yet we go about lives never achieving what we want to achieve, never knowing who we really are. Never getting to the point where we're like, oh my God, I understand this. Yet these people keep telling you how to be and how to behave and what to do. And we keep teaching this to our children and our children's children and the generations to come. I am so grateful and so blessed that I broke this mold. I broke this mold and my children and my children's children and theirs and theirs and theirs and yours because I know this is going to change. I know you are going to join me. I know you are going to change too. I know that. That's what we need to do. We need to stop this right now. What's going on right now has to stop today. The fear has to end. The anger, the resentment, all of the things that are happening to us has to end. We are individuals having an individual experience, but we are here together to experience, to learn, to grow, to develop together. We cannot allow ourselves to be controlled and manipulated and to be told that we're not good enough, that we're not responsible, that we are causing these things. That, did you ever cause a war? I want you to ask this question. Have you ever caused a war? Were you in the lab when you created what's currently going on at the moment? Because this didn't come from an animal, it came in a lab. And then you hear people in power saying oh yes we're creating this vaccine because the next pandemic the next pandemic and the pandemic after that do you hear it do you really hear these things and that's what has to stop you have to stop believing and thinking that this is this is real this isn't this is being created this is being placed to stop you from getting to the point where you need to be and you can believe it as much as you want and you can and this is the hardest thing because i want to be honest i want to you know and this is coming from love unconditional love nothing nothing else nowhere else because i've seen it and i'm not fighting against it i don't care i'm actually really glad this is all happening to be honest i'm so glad this is happening because it has to happen but what has to happen is, is now we have to come together. Do you want to stop being in pain? Do you want to stop feeling fearful? Do you want to remove the masks that we wear? Not the one that you're currently wearing. The ones you've been wearing through your whole life. The ones you were told that you were meant to be. The person you were told that you should never be. 
connect with yourself right now with that little boy or that little girl this little being that's inside you that energy that lives inside you and remember the dream that was alive in you the dream that's still in there it's only gone quiet that's all that's happened that dream has just gone quiet that thing that kept running around your head and kept saying to you go and do that go to that audition go and write that book go and sing that song go and cook that meal go and travel the world <laughs> go and learn go and help someone These are all of the things that we are meant to be. We're meant to serve. We're not meant to fight. We're meant to help each other. We're meant to love each other. I want you to, to connect with that. And when you are ready, let me know. And I'll show you exactly how you need to get, how you can get, to that highest level of consciousness, to the place that you are meant to be, the person who you are meant to be in this world, your world, so you can have your experience, the experience you are meant to have, not the experience that you are told to have, because currently you are living a life that you are being told to live, to being a person that you are being told to be. And if this hurts, good good i'm glad because it means it's touching something in there it's touching your heart and it's making you go you're right and if you think i'm wrong then hey keep experiencing keep experiencing i love you unconditionally thank you for letting me share this if you watched it this far i am so glad you have i ask one thing share share this share this with as many human beings as you possibly can because we have to, we have to more than ever to share this message with other people. I'll speak to you again very soon. Take care.